in either world, awake or asleep, nothing is ever perfect, as you can tell by the various hair, the various hairstyles courtesy of my bed. <laughs> uh, we're just getting started uh, for today. It is 16 hours and uh, 45 minutes into the 17th day of December. I had to think about that because remember what I said before. When I go to bed and then wake up, I think one day has passed. I call the day prior to when I was asleep. Uh, yesterday, that's your, your standard refrain, the way you say things. But the thing is, it's not the. It wasn't the other day. It's just a couple hours ago. You do learn a lot while you're sleeping, and uh, we did learn that a package came in. Uh, that's it. We operate 24-7, so the mail service, uh, the, the package delivery service, operates uh, in a similar fashion 24-7. There's no real break from it. And it looks like the package has been slightly torn. No, not to worry. These are the mats. These are the mats that I'm going to use for uh, the bathtub. I don't want to put everything down on the ground. Just on you know, just on the ground. I do want to have something, put something on top uh, under it. So this is it here. And it's a, it's, it's a beach mat. It, it's a beach uh, mat. Uh, mat. It allows you to put things on top of it. So this is kind of. Let's see here. This is the picture here. It's gonna block me for a bit. That's what it is. It's rather large. It's a nice size. Uh, this is a square one. It's uh, it's uh, basically six feet by six feet. So it's a good size. Easily easily will fit the tub. I've got two of them just in case I need one. And so that's there. What I do have to get next is going to be from Amazon to fix up the bathtub. Is I have to get uh, the uh, plumbing fixtures uh, that will allow me to plumb the uh, uh, the water line from the kitchen uh, to the bathtub. I've got the um, drainage system already in place. Uh, I just have to bring the 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 uh, the, call the the plumbing lines from the sink to the uh, uh, to the tub, uh, and then that will all be done. So then I'll have a, 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 a way to take a bath in here, other than simply a sponge bath in a in a in a, in a, um, in, in a large basin. So that's what I've been doing for now, and using uh, dry shampoo. So that's that's kind of the way I do things. Uh, and anyway, it is it hasn't. It, it, it's just been the second day that my worlds have united the wake and the asleep world has has united. Uh, it's so I have now a continuous day of almost medi of meditation. Meditation simply means to think, it's, it's, and it's how you think. It's a methodology of thinking, and in there you need to stay as calm as you can and think. The goal is not to overreact, even when mistakes occur in, in, in significant manners, you need to sort of be able to, to pull yourself back. In many cases, a lot of times it's, it's pulling yourself back and allowing a better explanation to, uh, to allowing others to do things. There are other people in my dreams, not just myself. And Typically, in the world view of your own world view, we are, are the ones who dictate what goes on. We are the ones who say what happens. We are the ones who say what controls and what doesn't control. But sometimes you have to stand back and let others do something else. In many cases, they'll do a better job. And then once you realize that, even though you're offended initially, 
at someone else taking your position of, of being the savior. You have to allow someone else to step in. And if they can do a better job and or, or can't uh, do a job that you can't do, then you let them stand. Then you let them stand in. In other words, you have to pull yourself back. In other words, this is an issue of self-control, of of actually being uh, selfless. Uh, it, it, being selfless means that you are a person who exists without status, and that. Because status does offend. When you do have a status, you do people offend you. Because they offend your status. That's when you get angry. This is where you have. To, this is where you'll see in, in shows like uh, uh, Ang the Last uh, Ang the Last Airbender. They're always fighting. They're always angry about their honor. They have to redeem themselves. They they have to redeem their honor. They have to get their honor back. And what is it? That's the status. And it is to the point, <laughs> I was talking with my mom, I said, you know, uh, our, our honor has been besmirched. You know, the next thing we need to do now is, is commit suicide because our honor has been been destroyed to a point where we can't return it. And this has to do with the whole thing with the lockdown and everything like that. We're out of control of things. And typically, this is where people would commit suicide. And unfortunately, th th that's what's happening is you having a, a, a psychological impact, a spiritual impact on people to such a degree that they are getting, they are going into despair and committing suicide during the lockdown. But again, you know, you bring this up, and many, many people have brought this up, uh, many doctors have brought this up, yet the politicians don't seem to care. Well, why not? Because it's on their agenda. This, this, is, this is part of their understanding is they want certain people to die and this is what euthanasia is about this is what abortion is about it's about population control oh we're, we're, we are overcrowding the planet we are a danger to the planet how do you solve that you get rid of some human beings right oh there's too many moose how do you get rid of all the, the, the population the moose population is out of control how do you get rid of the moose well, now you're going to have to call them. Or what the, the call is a fancy word for kill. So they go out and they kill moose based on their own figures and numbers as to what they should be doing. I mean, Australia is an example of how well <laughs> uh, these people understand uh, the nature of what they're doing. And Australia has made mistake after mistake after mistake uh, trying, trying to to call and eliminate uh, uh, introduced species and they can't figure where all these species are coming from and so yet they'll come they'll come up with, with, with scheme after scheme after scheme every scheme they've come up with has ended up backfiring on them it's never worked never <laughs> we were watching the NIH I've rewatched the, the NIH doc, uh, uh, NIH conferences from 2012 where you have uh, different ep epidemiologists talking about their their successes, and then someone pointed out, and it, it just once, but it, but, it, it, but no one else did it again because it was kind of embarrassing. Pointed out that they've never actually succeeded at stopping a v stopping a, an virus, an infection c from coming in and killing X number of people. That's always had from 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 the Spanish flu on. There has been no success today in stopping uh, a, 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 a uh, not a pandemic, but a, an outbreak, an, an infection that has hit a population. It always takes its course, it kills X number of people, and then leaves. Why this is, we don't necessarily understand. No one understands it itself, but of course... There will be people who uh, will insist that they understand, but there is no real understanding if you look at the history of this. And yet, this is the way we stand today. So, the, the, what we're doing today is what's been done in the past. We've had the lockdowns. We've done the we've done the masks. Uh, nothing has ever worked. If if these things worked, it would have worked the first time. There would be no more. There would be no more chronic gas. 
But yet there still is. We still have the pandemic today. Why? Because, not because of a few people, because the masks, the lockdowns, the social distancing, none of this stuff ever worked. Because it never did. There's a history behind its failure. Well, of course, if you're like Lionel LeBron and uh, history is a wonderful thing, only if it were real, then fine. Bury your head in the sand and then the rest will follow. So we are back within history. We are within the cycle of history. The things that we think are new are not necessarily new. They've been just done before and done in different ways. And those who fail to learn from history, they're doomed to repeat it. And that's what's going on again and again and again and again. So here we go again. Back into 1930, back into the 1970s. Well, uh, you will see Dirty Harry come back again. You will see the rise of another Hitler. You will see the rise of another Stalin. You will see the rise of another Pol Pot, like AOC or Kamala Harris. Uh, they've been identified in RT as uh, the next Pol Pot. Pol Pot. We're going in, in, in doing a Republican purge. They're going to purge the United States, as in their state, Twitter statements. And Cynthia Johnson has done the same thing, called a purge for the Repu of, of the Republicans. Get rid of the Republicans. Even notifications today have come out saying that from from support, reportedly from Justice, Justice Roberts, they know the election was stolen, but they don't want to they don't want to cause the riots. They don't want to be blamed for the riots. In other words, in other words, the riots in the deep state have intimidated the Supreme Court, so they're backing down. So at what point, what, what do we have on our side? This is an all-out war. This is an all-out revolution. But we've been through this before. This isn't anything new. It's just the first, this is the first time it's happening, in many ways, to this degree in the United States. Anyways, uh, this is the uh, opening for the vlog, and... Uh, You're beginning to see how everything is interconnected. And we'll continue on uh, uh, probably later on tonight. Maybe, maybe again once again at 4 o'clock in the morning. There's the bus. Ending their vlog for Thursday... Uh, December seventeenth is a good idea back here because uh, the media de the media room is now a fully qualified research desk. It is functional. It is working, and gives me a way to push forward to progress. Uh, even though uh, in the front room, uh, it's very cold. <laughs> uh, I do have the, 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 it's gone down to about. Uh, uh, 15 degrees Fahrenheit, and so things are getting a little cold. Uh, my neighbors haven't come in to turn on their heat at all, so the temperature is sliding down rather quickly. Uh, but I've got my heating adjusted so that uh, it's not too much of a problem. Uh, but it's more comfortable back here. It's warmer back here than it is in the front. And of course, in the summer, this is, the summer is reversed. The summer, it's hop back here and I have to be more on the front more on the front uh, research desk where the front room where the uh, music studio is now silly because it's so hot back here it's, it's more functional to be uh, to be there uh, so that's that's, that's kind of how things work out it is as I said things are becoming more and more functional uh, I'm able to do my work in more and more places and this is kind of where the point comes, is that uh, I'm going off and uh, to my next bit of work uh, in um, while I'm sleeping, because uh, I guess I said, but or I'm a lucid dreamer, and this goes into my dreams. I want to see how things progress in there. If things have been going pretty well. Uh, I've been able to achieve new uh, understandings. I've been able to uh, shift my behavior enough that uh, things are, 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 I would say, quite interesting. It, 
it, it, it, again, it's hard to describe. I can't give you exact details. Oh. It's not about predicting the future. I mean, people think, well, you're, you're predicting the future. It's not predicting the future. The dream, dreams ha are, are dreams in terms of how they are structured and more about yourself. And you'll learn more about yourself than anything else. So it's, it's more about who you are as a person. Uh, uh, how do you deal with various different situations? This is the experience within the dream. As it, you meet people there, you talk to people there, uh, you have interactions, and there are also things that come into your life that in, in, into into your, your dream life that challenge num a number of. This is where the issues that you have that are sort of hidden while you're awake. We we are we do a good job of hiding our issues while we're awake. We can suppress a large chunk of our emotional issues, uh, uh, and and so and so on and so forth. But when you're asleep, you can't do that. In the dream, you can't suppress these emotions. You have to actually deal with them. And it's how you deal with these emotions uh, that are occurring within the event. This is what determines uh, sort of uh, the outcome or the behavior or. or well, yeah, the outcome of the dream itself in terms of you're not actually changing the dream to some degree, but what you do are is what you're doing is dealing with the issue so that when you're leaving the dream, you're not as emotional as you would be as if you were still with it, if you had dealt poorly with that aspect of the particular dream. In other words, uh, if something and the dream does not doesn't have to be frightening, it can be disturbing. There's a difference between disturbing and frightening. Disturbing is watching uh, in the dreams uh, a person that you love, a parent, a wife, or a brother, something like that. Watching them, watching them die, you try to save them, you try to uh, you know to save their life, but they end up dying in the, in, in in that uh, attempt. And you go back and you think about, well, I could have done this and I could have done that. In other words, it it it, it leaves you with a disturbance that. Uh, you're unsettled. And again, it's not necessarily, it's, it's not, it's not an anger, it's not a fear, it's an unsettling that you should have done something more. But the thing is, at the same time, you, you also have the cases, the, the situations where, uh, how do you deal with a person? Sometimes you say things you didn't uh, mean to say, sometimes you get very angry and say things you're not supposed to be saying, in other words, that you don't necessarily intend to be saying. You hurt people in ways that uh, you don't necessarily understand. But in the dream, it becomes more clear that you've done something like that. And it helps you understand that you need to control your anger or you need to do a better job of controlling your anger. And it gives you a way of practicing to do that. It's, it, it, this is where you can sort of practice dealing with your anger in, in, in a more productive manner. Uh, so that you become more, more still, more, uh, uh, more peaceful. And as you become more peaceful, as you become calmer, and this is typically through meditation, then you can start moving into issues of love, uh, issues of forgiveness, uh, even forgiving those who are enemies, those who attack you, uh, not taking an, a, a position that is uh, of animosity, but rather taking a position of, of, of they don't understand what's going to happen to them. And because people when, when they do things that, that, are, are, that are wrong sometimes they don't necessarily they don't necessarily understand they're doing something wrong. They may be thinking that because they may have been convinced that they're doing something that's good but at the same time they, they don't necessarily see the harm in what they're doing because they're not aware of what could be going wrong. And so this gives you a way of sort of practicing this type of of understanding uh, it, it within the dream. This is, of course, if you're a lucid dreamer. Uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, mistakes to go down is to try to read, about, to read uh, well, which I see often, is reading about past life experiences. Uh, oh, you're other, pe you're other people, so then you, that means not your past lives, or you should be a woman, or, or this or that. You're, you're a person in the wrong body type. Well, I was SpongeBob SquarePants in one of my dreams. So, at, at which point, which point in my life was I ever SpongeBob SquarePants? In is my gender, <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> Am I really SpongeBob SquarePants? Is that what I should be putting down as a gender? Or, or was there something more to the dream? And typically there was something more to the dream that, than simply being SpongeBob SquarePants. And this, this is what I'm sort of saying is, is that reading into dreams, which this is where a lot of your LGBTQ comes from, your, your analysis of LGBT, LGBTQ, is typically a dream analysis. It's that, well, that means you, 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 are, you are a man in a woman's body, or you are a woman in a man's body, and they, 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 because they divine these dreams to be of this particular order. And see, psychology is, is, is the study of the soul, so any psychologist looking at this will say, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, in, in your mind, you're a woman, that, 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 your soul is a woman. You're a two-souled person. You know, and they, they get into a lot of these, these things that are, 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 are of mysticism, and dream interpretation. But try to say anything against it and try to sort of bring out other options and uh, well now in Canada it's going to become illegal. You cannot make, you cannot bring in other options uh, in terms of LGBTQ. That's the law, that's their truth and that's it. They're setting up a ministry of truth. Authorized authorized um, knowledge. But of course, there's always knowledge outside of authorized knowledge. Authorized knowledge is typically your, your, your beyond your intellectual knowledge. In, intellectual, intellectual knowledge produces the authorized knowledge, and both on a, are, are on the lowest levels of knowledge out there. The, the, you know, in terms of the, the in terms of gnosis, the, the overall knowledge of everything, uh, the academic, the authorized, uh, the institutionalized no, uh, knowledge, the intellectual knowledge is a uh, at the lowest level, it's, it, it's it's the lowest level of knowledge. So, uh, so it's not necessarily a good thing, but the thing is, at the same time, these are the things you can understand from from dreams. There are ways of looking at dreams, not necessarily in the prediction in, in the predictive manner, or to predict where things are going or who you are as as an individual in terms of your past lives. But rather, you can look at your behaviors. You can look at your how you feel about things, your emotions, and then go from there. That is the best path. Anyways, uh, that's it for now, and I will see you in a couple hours uh, uh, to start Friday's vlog.